What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, why is China really on Mars? Now, we know it's in Utopia Planeta, uh, an area where it's actually mapping the area. It actually has a radar, a ground-penetrating radar. I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the video, they show these uh, radar pointing down at the ground so it can find its selective spot. And if you remember, Perseverance did the same. So they can be in locked in and pretty darn close to the area we wanted to be in. Was it because it, you know, it just wanted to be in a certain position or not to land on top of something that was too big for the lander to land on or rover, whatever it may be, right? So I found some inconsistencies in this stock photo, and then we're going to get into the full enhanced photo, and then we can determine whether these are natural or not so much. But my first question would be, if it is all natural, why cover anything up? Folks, let's just jump right into it. And you can see the title right here it says China Zurong Mars rover rolls onto the Martian surface. What I find interesting is it shows the rover, which is cool. And you can go down to here where it shows Zurong rover has come off the ramps and is looking back at its lander, right? But I found a couple weird inconsistencies. Let's have a closer look. There's a few things that are kind of mess with your mind. In the center of the circle, just above my the cursor, there's some kind of weird, almost Z-shaped object. And what it's doing is going to kind of puzzle you, have you scratching your head. Also, these legs, why are they so blurred out? See the top here, just underneath the deck? See how it looks? Man, it's pretty decent quality. All of a sudden, you get down to the legs, it's completely blurred out, and they messed with it? What's going on with that? So let's just jump right into Photoshop and have a closer look. All right, let me show you the things that stuck out the most right off the bat. This item here I was just telling you about, right here. It has this kind of Z shape going like this here. It's pretty clear at the top of this, and then it kind of looks like it's kind of somewhat buried in the dirt, but maybe on the surface, right? My question is, why does it appear to be up against this ramp? We can clearly see the shadow down here, so it is off the ground. How does this look like it's on or up against the ramp of this lander? Does this make any sense to anybody? So are these ramps superimposed, or do they manipulate right to the very edge of this thing, giving it that kind of look? All right, there's some other couple parts that are kind of weird. What is going on with this lander's leg right here? Because you can see there's actually three of them. There's one there, one on this side, and of course this one here facing the rover. Okay. Now, it's completely blurred up. Why? I'll tell you why. It's what's in the background. And they're trying to hide and blend everything, and that's what they've done. Here's another object right here. Notice the white piece sticking out of it. We can enhance this a little bit. Okay, there's the legs right there, but what is this ball-shaped thing on the ground? Now we can see this. It appears to have two halves. One here, one here. But what's more important is this white piece sticking out, which looks like it has a small dark circle right there. See that? So my question is, what are they hiding there? You can see they blurred it out. It has some kind of weird white piece sticking out of it. And you can see the lander's foot is right there. Okay, so right off the bat, just inconsistencies, doesn't make any sense. I think whatever this object was, they blurred it up and they just left out a piece of it. And of course, you really can't see it too well when you look at it this way. If you're just glancing at the photo from like, let's say this position here, you might just overlook that real quick. And the same thing with this other anomaly here, right there, which again appears against the ramp. Okay, so the first thing I do is equalize the photo, right? We want to see if we can break on any lines or shapes of things laying on the ground. Now, before we do that, I can show you this right here, this area right here. What is going on that there's virtually almost no information at all? You can see it doing this. There's a couple pieces right here that have, you can see they're like little rocks. But check this out. Look closely, folks. You can see the information somewhat right here, but you can see how it goes like this. And then it's kind of spotty. Then right here, you can see the line of it, the actual blur. Pretty decent quality, absolute trash. Why is that so? You're not going to tell me the camera just happens to be selective. Uh, we'll clear, make it clear here, but really crappy over here. It's not going to happen, guys. Okay, what I notice is this is whiter or lighter compared to background and the foreground. Here as well. Just in the back here, you can see it just behind the actual lander near this foot in the back and all in the back here, right? One other thing I want you guys to see. Can you see this other shape or the line in here doing this? All 
Okay, like they did something here and there's some kind of little weird objects here and here. Let's just get into this. Fully enhanced. Look at the objects that are actually here, folks. Now, what we're going to do is let me just go back briefly to the stock photo and let me show you what they've done here. Look closely. You can see what looks like vertical blurring. Okay. You can see a line doing this, going into this blur. But I didn't really notice the shape of said objects until I did the equalization. Now, suddenly, I can see this object right here has this perfectly round circle. It's going like this. I'm not sure what this is because this is kind of blurry here. Well, you can see where they blurred. Look at, look at this. All right, but look at the actual shape, the whiter shape behind it. Almost looks like it's doing this. Okay, it might actually be straighter here because it's a blur. I didn't know this until I started getting into more and more. So what I did is I started looking at these objects on the ground, like this one. Different weird little shapes will look like parts more than rocks, right? Again, that object here. Some pieces in the back here. And again, I already showed you this in the beginning. Now, again, let's get into the full enhancement because this is pretty wild. All right, let's go back to these objects in the back. Not only these things have a shape to them, okay? But they're literally off the ground because there's dark shadows underneath it. You can see where we just started out right there. You can see the actual shape of the whiter object. That's what we want to try to find. And look at the blurring. We can see it right here. Look at this. Pretty decent clarity right there. Goes like this. You can just see it's all over this. Folks, they literally went to town on this stuff. Notice right here too, and you'll see this a little better. Right here appears to be some kind of weird pipe. And you can see the end of it right here. Okay. All right. Again, white pots on the ground. See it right here. The shape of that. Anything that's lighter, bring it out. Notice the whiter piece of each shape. That's the pot they left out. I try to go a little, a couple different ways to see if I can pull this stuff out. And you can see again, this weird looking pipe thing. We can see these weird shape pieces here. This piece right here. Folks, just look at it. I'm not sure what to even make of this thing right here. I'm not sure if it's all one piece because you can see something right here. It almost looks like it has these weird openings here. Like this here. With well, a center one right here. Here. Right here next to it. I believe this whole ground is covered. This whole background is not flat at all. Okay. What are these objects here on the ground? Next to the footing of this ramp. Now you can see something is here. You can see just little white pieces of it, just small details of it, and that's pretty much it. But you can see the outer shape of this thing. Again, why would this stuff have to be hidden, folks, if this is nothing but rocks? There's also something right here. And notice the shape of this. It's almost like this teardrop kind of shape piece going like this here. Like they put right over this white piece. Okay, you can see it. This one here also has what looks like some kind of raised small knob type thing right here on the base going like this. Right there at the end. Here's that other item I showed you earlier and there's also something else right next to it. Again, folks, why is this here? Why is it butted up against this ramp when clearly the ramp is off the ground? These things are actually in the photo. You can see it right here. There's a small piece of that right there. This right here. And notice this piece here actually is white here and a little grayer here. See it at the very end of it? Other pieces here. And again, there's hidden pieces all in here. I don't know if these are mechanical parts, whatever they may be. Folks, look at the way this thing is. Items here. It's not a flat ground. Parts are sitting right on the ground here. 
right behind this lander. Notice that right there. You can see bits and pieces of it, like I said, right here. And once you use the dodge tool, you can actually bring out some shapes out of this thing. Look at this piece right here. Clearly not hidden or, or covered up. You can see that right there. It's still in the photo. It's right there. White piece right here. Little one right there. And again, there you go. This is far from a flat surface. I think we know what the radar is for now, right? Are they expecting maybe they're living underground and maybe they're looking with the radar? Or are they trying to find larger objects that may be buried in the ground and they're seeing this? Maybe they think it's been here for millions of years or thousands of years and it could be a lot more buried in the ground. Especially if we've got these windstorms that could cover stuff up, right? There's a whole photo right there, folks. Have a look at it with your magnifier. Pause it right here. And then have a look at these other weird things going on in this photo here. Between this ball-like anomaly, which seems to have some mechanical pieces sticking out of it. Tell me what you think about this weird blurring in the legs, as well as this object on the right. And there you go, folks. Folks, I've been reading up on this, this lander and this rover. Again, they're supposed to be looking for water. And they're talking about water ice, right? Not carbon. They're looking for any ancient signs of life, too. But what I found interesting is they have this ground-penetrating radar. Hmm. Now, could it be looking for water or other objects? Again, if you look at the animation they've done when it was actually coming down, because you had the parachute bring it down, it disconnected, and then, of course, you had the lander under its own propulsion come down, and then it started using this radar type thing or this guidance system to land it where it needs to land. Now, did it land because, oh, we just need to pinpoint this particular area, or was it to avoid landing on things that might have been too big that could have tipped the rover over? Hmm. After seeing some of the objects in here, and we're only seeing a tip of these things, by the way, I believe this thing would have tipped over had it landed on something that it shouldn't have, like uh, a structure or some large piece of equipment or whatever it may be, right? As always, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to share the video to appreciate it. You guys know that. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button so YouTube will share it. And by the way, folks, I got another mind-blowing moon photo that's going to change your whole perspective on what you were looking at in these moon photos. Just really, really wild. Some of these objects in this Apollo photo makes one of the astronauts look dwarfed in size. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, folks.